Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It has been a hot, hot minute. My hair's looking kind of crazy right now, but that's okay. I know why. I know why. <laughs> so excited. I'm officially in my crown era, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. I finally went to the theater this month. Well, November. And this wait, have I gone to December to the theater? I think I have. I wait, who? We finally made it back to the theater, y'all. I know right let's let's jump right in all right so per usual if you guys are new it works this way we have our rewatches we have our first time watches and then we have what came out in the particular month so in this case November 2023 new releases there will be timestamps if you would like to jump ahead now first time watches that could be anywhere from um thumb years ago from the beginning of time of movies to even things that came out in 2023 that I just didn't watch when they first came out in that particular month but we finally are there so first we have the unbearable weight of massive talent if y'all been with me for a while y'all already know freaking love this movie this made it into my top movies last year because it came out last year i rewatched it i'm like i still love it i still love it so we're gonna go ahead and put it over here under favorite of course we had to rewatch the hunger games this is like the complete deal poster because i wasn't gonna like we're just including hunger games as a whole i mean i could have done them all separately but i don't want to do that I'm not about that life. I mean, I could be about that life, but like, I choose not to be. I love these movies. I do. Every time I read a book and then I'm just like, look, you like Hunger Games? Check this book out. If you don't follow me on TikTok, that's kind of where I'm doing my book journey. Also like pre-worn, I'm debating. I meant to do it last year, but I didn't. And I really, really wanted to. And then this year, since I've read more books, I kind of wanted to do it this year. It's probably gonna be one of my last uh, deals. But I kind of want to like just rank all the books that I read or listened to in this particular uh, year. I think I may do that. We're, we're sticking with Jennifer Lawrence and we're going to first time watches No Hard Feelings. I was really looking forward to this movie. I try not to see any reviews or anything so I didn't know too much about it. But I think I had heard some not so great things. But I was like whatever. Whatever. We're going to go in there. I, I love comedy. If y'all know me. I, comedy's like my well. It was my number one, but like the way that times are now, like they just don't make comedy the way they, they used to, like 2000s comedy, you know? It's like, the comedy now is just too delicate, it's just not my vibe. I get the whole thing of, well, if it was like the, the sex was reversed and it wouldn't have worked, there would have been more stuff, but it's not. It's not, so why why bring it up? And if it wasn't reversed, guess what? They probably wouldn't have made the movie, so why even say stuff like that, you know? It's like... Shush. I was expecting more. I did have funny moments in there. There is, of course, like raunchiness happening in there. There are some cringe moments, but it's not fully what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like, wow, like, yes. I thought it was just like an okay movie. I was honestly expecting more and I was just waiting for the movie to finish. And then we have Quiz Lady, another one that when I saw the trailers when it's on Hulu, I was like, okay, another one that, yeah, raunchy comedy. That's gonna be my type of deal. It honestly i feel like the trailer just gave away all of the good funny parts i went in there and i was just like mm -hmm. aquafina is kind of like hit and miss for me i love me some Son sandra O. Oh. will ferrell just kind of like a hot take i'm not the biggest will ferrell fan i like them here because he wasn't like annoying he wasn't like a man child he was like an actual human I like them like this, okay? But like generally, as a whole, not my vibe. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this one was just, it, again, it just really wasn't it. Uh, it's another one that was just an okay movie for me, okay? Then we have Blue Beetle. I liked it, y'all. <laughs> I really, really liked it. I thought it was funny. I totally related to a lot of the things that were happening, a lot of the like the family stuff. I love that the family was actually a part of the whole like superhero journey, how he could rely on his family. Like, you know, he needed the help and the family was there to back him up. I get it when it comes to like superheroes and not wanting to bring your family involved because it's like danger, right? But we're just never alone. I will say some of the song choices I did like the song choices i was like oh yeah for the little bits that we got it was just also too little bit of it but the song choices i liked but not for this movie if that makes sense i feel like that makes sense right um i thought it was a really really good time um i'm gonna i don't even know like i i, 
Did I love it? I don't think it was a pretty great movie. But I don't think I love, love, love. I don't even remember what, what I ranked it on Letterboxd. But like, it's still kind of like there. I enjoyed it. I knew nothing about this hero. I, I've said this many, many times. But if you are new, as far as superheroes go, I only know the movie. The movie, that's it. I, I don't know what happened in comic book issue. Together. Then we have A Haunting in Venice. I do actually have the book and I read the book before I did this. Yeah. It should come to no surprise, okay? <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm slow. So the main character, right? Um, her, her, you know, the main character. <laughs> so, like, what had happened? When Death on the Nile came out, right? I remember a lot of people were like, yeah, the murder on the Oriental Express. And I thought it was just because the same director, right? And then like, now this one comes out, right? <laughs> and they're like, "You." I start hearing Oriental Express, Death on the Nile, and then they're like, oh, Hercules is a mystery. And I was like, ah. Yeah, yeah. The thing was, Orient, the murder on the Orient Oriental Express, that came out like, I don't know when, right? I didn't like it. Death on the Nile, it's another one. I just wasn't totally here for it. I think I may have a review on that one. When I saw this one, like I remember, I kind of remember the character more. That's kind of why I was able to put two and two together because I remembered him from the Death on the Nile. And then I was like, oh, read the book. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't like the book, it was boring. <laughs> I read, I got it, I, I don't even remember how long, and the book's not even that long y'all, so I got, it, it was hard to get through it. I got through most of it, not through most of it, like, I don't even know, I don't even think I got halfway, no, I think I got halfway through it, and then I was just like, I'm done with this, I, it just, well, how does it end? Who killed, who killed the little girl? The movie is different, because there was no little girl at a party that, like, they killed, like, she wasn't like, I saw a murder! It was different and you know she was like yeah I think I saw a murder I don't know she was like a lying little girl and then it's like I was waiting for that lady when they're like she dropped the vase that's from the book and like that's how she got water on her and that's how she was able to like say oh yeah you're the one that drowned that little girl because of the water with the vase and that's not how it happened here it was boring I didn't like the movie either um I, I it's not a you tried because it was like I guess it was just another okay movie I guess at the end of the day it's not one I think at this point seeing that it's three movies and do they continue to continue on with this character and his mysteries I I'm I think that I've given it enough opportunity to say that these movies are just not for me then we have made it to what came out in November so if you have jumped forward you have made it to the right place oh of course everything that I have reviewed will be down the description the marvels i low-key forgot i watched this movie i low-key forgot it came out in november like when i was looking at my letterbox and i go oh you were just barely in november okay then so there were elements of the movie that i enjoyed miss marvel she definitely was the best part of the movie i don't know like i don't have a problem with brie larson but for some reason her as captain marvel she's just not a really likable person she's just kind of like high and mighty but i don't have a problem with brie like i like her in, in a lot of other movies i mean she's not like one of my favorite actresses but i do enjoy her work i've never seen the marvels i don't i don't know like this movie kind of almost made me want to watch it, but at the same time like not really i have no intention of watching secret service secret mission i don't know the way that disney is making it now like where you have to watch everything which i get it like it's technically a smart move right it's like we're gonna get you we're gonna get the audience to watch everything because if you want to understand these movies then you're gonna have to watch x y and z shows because like there's gonna be things off of x y and z incorporated in these movies so then now when you're not completely lost because you're gonna know what's happening over here but as an audience member i don't like that you're trying to force me to watch x y and z when i only want to watch x right and then y and z like i don't want to watch you and x in my deal was uh what's it called uh one division villain here was atrocious i'm gonna let you say it was also in okay but it's gonna be at the very end of okay like for sure and then we have radical radical is based on the true story it is uh starring uh, Eugenio Derbez, which I just I love him. It is in Spanish with the English subtitles and it's just such a beautiful movie. I absolutely adored it. I honestly thought I was gonna cry from just the trailer that I watched. I only watched it once and I'm like, you give me vibes but I'm gonna cry. 
like I feel like I am. I went prepared with my tissues, but I did not cry. Uh, but it's just a beautiful, like, inspiring story about this uh, teacher who goes to literally asked to be transferred to this school which is one of like the lowest performing uh schools in mexico in this particular city of mexico and here comes eugenio and he has a certain way of teaching a very radical way of teaching that of course doesn't fall within the curriculum of what they need to be teaching when they need to be teaching it but he's all like no we're gonna have the students kind of learn in their own way learn what they want to learn and you're gonna be surprised just how far it's gonna go and honestly this is all a concept that he, he saw on youtube i just absolutely loved it i really really did i highly highly recommend it dashing through the snow this is a disney plus movie i believe it is it stars ludicrous y'all um in this uh very christmasy family i guess it's like the only christmas movie i have right now but there's more to come it's another one that i low-key kind of forgot that i watched but i'm not gonna lie when i watched it at work <laughs> Um, it had me laughing quite a bit. Um, it has moments, like charming moments of it, but at the end, it, not a very memorable one. As a whole, it just really wasn't for me. But for a Christmas movie, because I feel like as a Christmas movie, we should separate that from other movies because, you know, they're, they have their own sort of formula. You know, you expect cringe. You don't expect this, I mean, you don't really but when it does have like a really nice plot incorporate a good story it's even like a greater plus to it right but at the end of the day when it comes to like a holiday movie it, it has a formula I'm, I'm gonna just say it was a feel-good movie you know because that's what you want from a Christmas movie from a holiday movie you want it to be just like feel good you want to get those vibes and it definitely gave me the Christmas vibes so we have that then we have uh leo which is netflix and this is an adam sandler movie i saw the trailer i was like oh my god this could be so cute and it was it was a really really cute movie i thought it had a really nice message he just kind of accidentally starts talking to the students yes he's a talking iguana ends up finding out that oh i only have like a year to live and i've literally always lived in this cage i haven't seen the world he wants to go out so he's trying to be the most awesome pet so they can take him so he can kind of plot his escape but at the end of the day he just ends up falling in love with these students and the students just end up falling in love with him and he really just ends up giving them advice and helping them off with their problems i did not know that it was a musical so just pre pre warned it is a musical that threw me off it really did um it did have its moments that i was just like ah like I thought it was going really good and then I don't know where it was just like mm. but for the most part I really actually I, I I really loved it at the end of the day I thought it was a really cute movie uh, finally we have the Hunger Games uh, song ballad of song and snake whatever it is called <laughs> the prequel to the Hunger Games there were things about it that I actually really really loved I really enjoyed it I liked to see where the games originated from like we literally get to know where it started and the idea and the person who actually came up with this atrocious competition viola davis i absolutely adored her i thought she was so cool and then hunter schaefer which i love from euphoria one of the things that i have seen like the book to movie comparison was the the take on president show because i really wanted to that's one of the reasons right i really wanted to see the i mean read the book because i want to know his inner dialect right like who you who what are you really actually thinking because that's one thing that we we obviously don't see in the movie there is this whole theory that richard zegler's character here that that's president um coin from district 13 i don't know i don't i don't i don't think it it would be her but it could possibly be her it had a lot of things of it that i really enjoyed but we weren't really in the games as much i really wish we were but again given that it is an open arena it wasn't gonna be as much with that these are the movies that i watched in the month of november let me know down below what did you guys watch you be watching the same things do you agree do you disagree of course this is my opinion this is your opinion there are no right or wrong answers just let me know down below like what you did what did you think so of course if you haven't already don't forget to like comment share subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok if you want to kind of get to know more and want more content that's kind of where most of the things are right now are on social media versus here on youtube um but yeah that's it for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye